wish you could tell you how wonderful it is to live around here. Such beautiful mountains in the distance. Beautiful cars. Awesome. Have a good night. Well, I didn't want to make you too wait too long to see this 55 frame off restoration four speed 350. good in the snow and if you stop too quick your back wheels are gonna come off the ground <laughs> boy talk about a tight workspace with lots of room in the back classic classic old one my goodness now when you own a van like this I showed it to you before but I looked inside and I thought if you ever get in an accident the first thing going through your mind during that accident will be the windshield Five thousand or trade, a four sixteen CI Stroker, E eighty five, only a only a thousand miles since the build, supercharged, six speed. That's a bit for you, American Muscle. Beautiful. Kind of has a front end that looks like a Mustang, doesn't it? Eighty four, Dodge Rampage. Oh, there's a collector's item. An old Dodge Rampage. Where have you seen one of those in a long time? That's the new mid-engine Corvette. Wonder if you can see the motor. Shall we go see if we can see the motor? Ah, uh, nope, you can't. But that's beautiful. Take a test drive. There's El Camino. Kind of your normal, natural colors, nothing special. The way it came off the showroom floor. Beautiful. And for you younger enthusiasts, an eight horsepower little hot rod inside the back of a pickup. Not exactly comfortable. Beautiful Chevy Nova. Old one. Only 6,800 miles on the new engine. 2017 SS engine, interior, drivetrain, trassy, all are new. 65,000. Oh, look at this one. Now, this one actually leans forward so you can see the engine. What a hot rod. They want $75,000. It's a 355, the 9 inch rear end. Boy, look at that power. Oof. Look at these fat tires. I bet you they're. 20 inches across under there. This is called a Stroker. This is a Chevrolet, a BBC Stroker with aluminum heads. And uh, wow, it's got big, fat slicks on the back. It says drive anywhere, but I guess you get there too quick if you drive this, I suppose. Okay, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna take a minute and do a 1965 restoration. They left the book right here on the front. That's the car. I'll just flip the pages real quick here. That's how they found it, sandblasted it. 
started putting it back together. Oop, that was it. Okay. No final. I was waiting for the final picture, but I guess there is one. Yeah, that's part of the restoration. Pretty cool. It's 1933 Ford. All updated. Black and silver. It says 351. Inside this old car is a beautiful engine shining in there ready to hit the brakes and make it roll. Beautiful. Got headers. Where do you see the front? Is that the way you want to roll? Wow. $20,000. Quite a difference between this and this. 1926 T model Roadster. Beautiful. New tires and everything. Isn't that gorgeous? Remember that we saw one yesterday that was a four seater. This is a two seater. Doesn't say the price. I'll have to see if there's a price on it. Beautiful. Oh, it's got history in the back here. Four cylinder, 22 horsepower, 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Donnie and Mary Estes. They've had it a long time, I guess. Oh, isn't that pretty? Wow. Two-tone. Gorgeous. Kind of reminds you of an old police car, doesn't it? 51. He's asking 14.5 for it. I believe I've got the owner right here. He's looking it over real quick because he's got a little thing. Got a beautiful engine under there. It looks like a straight yeah, four cylinder. Drove it in just, just now, he just drove it here. It's street ready. That's original Vlor interior. Looking, well, not the original, but re reproduction. Yeah. Look at that. Not a lot of gauges in the old ones here. He can't seem to get the lights to turn out. Got an Uga horn. Look at that. A 49 Ford convertible. Runs great, it says. Got a 350 Chevy engine in it. Mustang 2 transmission. Power steering, power brakes. AC. You can drive it anywhere. That's got an older paint job. It's pockmarked. Got the old rusted steel metal look. Got a current license plate. That counts a lot. There are some cars, no title. Things like that, you can't get a current license plate on them. Nothing special. Beautiful. Now this one they only want 27 for. Might be because it's a four door instead of a two door. It's got a new, a new engine and transmission, disc brakes, new tires, 423, 231, 4802. Beautiful. 48 Ford. 350, ice cold air, 26.5. Beautiful. Updated interior, front disc brakes. 48 Plymouth. Custom done. Upgraded brakes and tires. Close to the original interior though. Which button started? Who said they just invented that? 1951 with a heavy coat of green jade on it. And, uh, but look, the inside dashboard has got that, I want to call it bowling ball look. It's got a bowling ball dashboard. When you bend the bowling alley. Ah, what a beautiful purple Bel Air. It's got a hood too. Look at that scoop on the top. 57 Chevy, four speed. 
1965 chicken <laughs> now, you know Donnie likes to stain wood that's a beautiful brown wood like a dark walnut bed in a custom tin look at that beautiful look at those wheels rims updated disc brakes 69 C10 Beautiful. It's a 51 Chevrolet. It's got the curved fenders like the Bel Air, the 53 Bel Air. Look at that dashboard. Ooh. Beautiful. Can you believe people rode in cars like this without seatbelts with a steel dashboard? Wow. Oh, we got that more slick. 18. Oh. <laughs> uh, they never be. It's smarter though. Look at the flames. This is old Skylark, believe it or not, with a four barrel, no blower. 400, Look at those wide back tires. Got a high top 471 blower on this Henry J. My goodness. Look, you can put the kids in the back and do the quarter mile. I'm seeing another vehicle I could change into my painting van. Carry all my stuff, just cruising. Beautiful scripture on the back, John 316. And the Evans family collision. I guess they all collided together and made a family. Beautiful. Got that flat black finish. Beautiful white wall tires. Cooler girl on the front seat and on the front dashboard and a cooler in the front. Wonder what's in the cooler. Oh, King James Bible. This people are giving away Bibles. Alright. Now you know how I am about Mustangs. Here is a beautiful one. Black and silver. It's a Shelby Cobra. Extra scoop in the front. I don't know if that's original, but wow, that would make it very rare. 32.5 for this. Let's take a look at the back. There's the phone number for anybody interested. Interior, good tinted, pretty. Ooh, that's a dark tinted window. You can't see in there at all. That would not be legal. Yep, that's the Shelby rear end right there. It's a Shelby. Can't argue with that. GT. Outstanding interior, brand new custom paint job. This is a Galaxy 500 that's only the IXE. 1965, 5000 Only $5,000. I have saved up $5,000 for it, this. It says it runs and drives, no brakes. You're going to have to put your foot out to stop it. Yep, it's got Fred Flintstone brakes. <laughs> oh, the back tires are about a foot wide. This is a hot rod. Look at those side pipes, those aluminum rims. Wow. Beautiful. No information on this one, though. Doesn't exactly look original, but I'd take it. Beautiful. What a lot of room. 55, 55 fair lane. 39.5. This is a 61 bubble top. Uh, Chevrolet. No, no um, bar between the middle and back window. Another fair lane here with the uh, shade over the front window. Over here is the Bel Air. Beautifully redone van. And now, oh, what's the sound of that? Look at this Cadillac. <laughs> I can't even.
even get the whole thing in my camera. Beautiful. What a hunk of metal. I bet that thing is five, two, to see two tons would be 4,000 pounds, so it's probably two and a half tons. What a car. What a car. Yeah, there's that Lambo that drove by earlier. Beautiful. I had to take a picture of this because it looks like it's ready for deer and maybe even the apocalypse. <laughs> You know, regular cars are here too. Not even, not even finished up, just cleaned up, maybe a coat of paint. This old Galaxy 500, it's a 54. Beautiful. There's Chevelle right there with a rag top. Yellow Custom Z28. Boy, those are expensive these days. Even pickup trucks here now. What do you do? What do you do? You either want them all, or you just go home. There's a 454. Cowl induction Chevelle SS 454. This is a 1956 Chevy Nomad. Interesting thing, it's two doors, but it's like a wagon. Beautiful. Oh, by the way, here's a 56, 55 or 56 Bel Air. Look at this Nomad. Remember, the Nomad was always known by its creases in the roof, and by its long tail, and it being a two-door wagon. Ah, Chevy Nova 2 right here. But look at the back of this thing. Is that like the family vacation look you always remember? Oh, it's from Georgia, and it's expensive. Camaro, Corvette, Camaro Ragtop, Nova 2. Oh, look over here. Oh my goodness, I can't take this. Beautiful gold Trans Am over there. Old Chevy wagon. There's another Bel Air. $65,000. Ooh, a Super B. Ah, Nova 2s, Camaros. Ah. You see, they all buy a, they all rent a room here, and they get a space for renting a room. So if they sell the car, they paid for their room for sure. There's another Plymouth Roadrunner, or is this a Super B? That's a Roadrunner. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness! I got to shade my camera here. Wow, is that like a tea bucket or something? I think they call that a tea bucket. Beautiful chrome exhaust. Would I like to be here when they start that? That must sound beautiful. Inside, look at this. There is no roof. <laughs> there is no taking this car out in the rain. It's $50,000. And it's a turbo. With a 9-inch rear end. And everything is brand spanking new. Definitely worth $50,000. Who wouldn't pay? $50,000 for that if they had it to just toss at it. Wow. Beautiful. He's pounding down. 18 wheels are rolling. We're going to do what they say can't be done. What a beautiful car. 6.6 .6 liter 1977, the year I graduated high school. Trans Am. New battery, spanking new engine, new brakes. Wow, what, who wouldn't want to drive something safe like that? And look at this, it's a 3100. Beautiful wood bed, big back tires, wow. So you can see now this is a, the more expensive already done Chevelle, twice the price. Cowl injection, you can see why. Beautiful. Now here's an interesting, for you not wanting to go too far into the past, a two-door Ford Bronco in excellent shape, $40,000. That is a real find right there. Anybody would be envied to own that Bronco. Gorgeous. Oh, 
Decisions, <laughs> decisions. Do you want a Camaro Z28 or do you want a Corvette? I'm telling you, that's a hard choice. Oh my. High school days, Camaro. Big back tires, narrow front tires. Oh, gorgeous. This is in honor of my friend Steve, who I knew who was in the Navy, up Fair Lane, that GT. Not the right color, not jacked up, but it reminds me of the great one. There's something about magnets and red Mustangs. They both attract. Wow. Look at that. Got the side scoop, extra package. Wow, sixty-eight thirty-five thousand dollars. We just pump up, just keep going. Run those lights. Look at that tail. Oh, it's a Shelby. I said to Joy, this is an old classic. Why, if that doesn't look like a good painter's van, I don't know what does. And she said, oh, well, you can get it. And I went, what? I can get it. It is $5,500. I've got $5,500. She went, no. I meant you can get it on video. <laughs> oh. It looks like they put the money in the engine because it is updated, beautiful four-barrel carb. Lots of power right there. So why is one 69 Chevelle SS with a 496 only $25,000? And another one is $50,000? Well, now is your chance to know. It's called Body, Work, and Bondo. And of course you can see here the windshield is done. There's a lot of tar and everything in there that is a disqualifier. There's a bondo here, bondo here, uh, touch-ups here, bondo here, bondo here. This is why this Chevelle is half price of one that's already ready to go. Now you have to say to yourself, well, would it this $25,000 Chevelle be worth $50,000 if I did all this body work? Yes, it would. How much would it take for you to do all this body work and a complete interior? About $25,000. <laughs> so, you'd break even. Sirens are for how hot and fast this car is.